Australian films are very important. They're dramatic and epic, yet intimate and thoughtful. They hold up a mirror to our cultural prejudices. But sometimes they're not really boring and can be awesome, gory horror films. Pete Ford is the producer of the upcoming awesome, gory horror film, Storm Warning. And over a few beers, we found out what it takes to make an Australian genre film, why anyone would want to be a producer, and tried to remember we weren't talking to Kevin Smith. Every producer I've met, um, which is you and possibly one other. Wow. Um, There's two in Australia? Uh, no, no. Who's I, the other guy? I saw, I saw him on the internet. <laughs> um, I saw your reflection in the mirror. <laughs> you saw the other producer on the internet dating service? Yes. <laughs> Did say producer, I wasn't <laughs> looking that carefully. Um, what now, when people get passionate about getting into the film industry, the they want yep. to be a writer or a director yep. or an actor. Yeah. What, what drove you to being a producer? Why do you want uh, to be a producer? Oh, this is embarrassing. Yeah. Well, I'm glad you asked that, Lee. Um, well, I wanted to be a director. So, and Frustrated I, director? Yeah. Mm. And, and I was, well, I'd actually directed a whole bunch of stuff. I have a particular taste, which ain't Jim Devine. I mean, you know, great films, but that's not what I want to make. There's terrific filmmakers out there that are actually making those movies. So I sort of came to this conclusion that I was, all my films had one thing in common. The direction was okay, the scripts were okay, but they were really well produced. And yeah. that's what people were saying to me at the same time, that you know, they look fantastic, you know, the production values were mind-boggling. So I suddenly realised that, you know, in the short term at least, I should maybe stick to what I've, I know very well, which was producing, and decided to become a producer. So, okay. And Storm Warning was my first feature film as a producer. I mean, mm. I literally, um, I was in America in August, I picked up the script, we did the deal. Um, in October, we had the funding in December. We'd shot it in June, and we'd deliver it this December. You glossed over something that I wanted, I wanted a bit more information on, um, how it all sort of came to be, because mm. you've got some incredible horror talent here mm. with um, you and uh, Gary Hamilton uh, yeah. producing with you, who yeah. produced Wolf Creek. Yeah. You've got uh, Jamie, of course, Jamie Blanks, mm. and you've got uh, Everett DeRoche, mm. who wrote like two of the best genre films to come out of Australia. Which ones? Patrick, Patrick and Road Patrick Games? And Razorback. Oh, Razorback. Oh, no, oh, I would go Razorback. Yeah, Road Games is great. But yeah. The world's but, slowest, uh, was it Road Chase? You know, it was deliberately the world's slowest Road Chase, where she's <laughs> walking trying to get away from the car in Road Games. It's brilliant, actually. And it keeps coming down. It's right, yeah. Reverse shot, reverse shot, reverse shot. Oh, dear. Yeah, how did it all, how did it all come it's together? A, it's but with all this talent. It's just, yeah, it was serendipity. I mean, like, you know, and I can't, I mean, I, for me, I actually can't take any credit for it whatsoever what had happened was um there'd been a script called storm warning which had been literally kicking it's 14 years old but, you yeah, know from from ever it's been around forever and it's been through like a, i think um you know everett's old mate uh, uh oh god i'm embarrassing myself uh, who directed um, richard franklin yeah richard franklin yeah. yeah richard franklin had it for ages then it went to um the guy directed man from hong kong oh brian uh, Trinch and smith. Brian smith had it That's you my know. boy yeah. <laughs> I love Brian Gretzky. There you go, thank Leprechaun you. 3 and 4. Yeah, oh my God. Leprechaun well, 5 in space. Know, I, I think know. he makes more movies, as, Jamie was telling me, he makes more movies than director at the moment because he turns out a movie every two weeks for television right now. He's, he's a director, he's, he's amazing. <laughs> I got the Man From Hong Kong original poster. Yeah. Oh, really? Yes, oh, wow. I do, yeah. See, I reckon that's up for a remake. Yes, oh, absolutely. There we go. It was my idea. Just right now. Yeah. Here's that's the pitch. Um, so the script had been through a lot of hands and it had literally just come into Gary's hands um, and he decided to option it at the time and I think with the intention that uh, Gary had said that he'd wanted to do a film and he had been thinking about doing a film with Jamie for quite some time even though Jamie had been out of the picture so um, that's when I entered the scene and literally he gave me the script and said would you be interested in doing something together based on the stuff that I directed yeah. in the past mm -hmm. and produced in the past and um, I knew Jamie because Jamie uh, actually used to edit for me corporate videos and television commercials oh, before, right. before he did the American thing so he was a freelancer and freelancer guy. I remember when it's he was trying for us all. To, yeah, well, that's right. <laughs> so let me ask you, are we going to see the DVD box set, the Pete Ford, Jamie Blanks uh, three film thing, which is like two corporate videos and Storm Warning? Because <laughs> yeah. I would buy that. <laughs> would you buy that? I would uh, buy yes, that. I would rent I that. <laughs> I'd like, lend him my I would steal that. <laughs> <laughs> I'd, love, I'd love Jamie to actually put on a... Oh, I'm not asking this question. I do have a couple of good Ford and Holden training videos you might like. Oh, yeah, especially yeah. the Rodeo one. Yeah. Nice. One ton Rodeo. One ton Rodeo. Rodeo. <laughs> oh, that was you guys. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Uh, so, yeah, so anyway, I've got my next question. Yeah. Um, I'd seen um, so Jamie and I had actually we'd worked together. We well, worked together. We, we did the corporate stuff together, and uh, it was interesting when his name had come back up. I, I agreed immediately with um, Gary that I thought it was a fantastic idea. And from my point of view, and something that I, hopefully we got across, I really wanted Jamie to be have absolute, you know, um, can't blanch to do a Jamie Blanks movie Unleashed, you know, because all the Hollywood stuff was always his first and second film were very, you know, he was very hampered with at the studios yeah. and we didn't want that to be the yeah. case. Okay, just, you realise yeah. you're a producer, right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, call me a fool. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's worked well. So, I mean, on this one, it's, you know, within the, the confines of the budget, 
um, <laughs> and the shooting schedule, which was grueling for him. Um, you know, to create something which, you know, really had the possibility of being the closest thing to a, a, a true JB film. You know, yeah. and, and I think we got there. I mean, I'm, I'm hoping I think that way. Do you see um, genre films as like a means to an end uh, in order to make? You know, the personal films? No, nah, I'm a child of Star Wars, dude. Are you, you're yeah, happy no, to no, no, wallow I, in this for the mate, rest of I, your I, career? I love it, yeah. Wallow is not the right word I would use. No? <laughs> no, uh, celebrate. <laughs> oh, no, I think wallowing, you know, well, well, it's a good, it's a good yeah, wallow. It is, yeah, it's great. It's no, I love wallow. it. I mean, yeah. you know, if you want to be out there, one of the things I kept saying about during Stormwater, it, it's not the oyster farmer, you know, like, no. and that's great. If you want to make the oyster farmer, fantastic. Go out and make the oyster farmer. But for us, I actually do like playing with the toys. That, I, I mm. love crafting a film mm. in a way where you work with other artisans. I mean, to me... That is the best part of the gig. Yeah. Boy, am I happy to wallow in it. What I want to do is tell great genre stories because I don't think they're any less relevant mm. than great art house films yeah. or great dramas or great comedies. I mean, I think all films are fantastic. You know, some obviously are a hell of a lot better than others. They're all hard work to make. Some succeed and some fail. You know, as long as I can make movies that sort of, and I don't mean commercially, I mean creatively, make movies that, you know, creatively succeed, that'd be great. 